Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to add and remove the new context menu Windows 10. That would be this right here with all the options. When you're done, as you can see right below here, it's gone. So check the video description to download the registry files. Before you do, Google Chrome is blocking the download. It probably doesn't know what it is. And it's actually the first time I've seen it happen with any of our registry files, but we got you covered on that too. So just click discard for now and open your settings right here. Try another browser. Click on privacy and security. Leave this tab open. Uncheck safe browsing. Come back here to this tab. Click here if it does not. There you have it. Come back here if you want that setting on and turn it back on and close the tab. Sorry about that, but we had to cover that. Let's do it up. It's in your download folder, hopefully. Double click and extract the files so you can enable or disable it. There's also a link to the tutorial, so if you have trouble, you can open any browser you want. Just double click the link. It will load the page. Cool. All right. So let's remove it. Add would be the default. Double click remove. You have to click run. Yes. Yes. And OK. Let's see if it worked. And there you have it. I don't have the new in here anymore. Change your mind. It's actually as easy as clicking on add. And once again, run. Yes. Yes. OK. And there it is. Pretty neat. I think a lot of guys in IT tech might want to disable that access from people so they're not running around creating stuff all over the place and making a mess out of the computers. And just for anybody who doesn't use it and wants to clean up their context menu. There you have it. Short, sweet, to the point. How to add or remove a new context menu in Windows 10. Bottom right corner, the Major Geeks logo. Click subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.